All right. My Loveless here, just trying to give you some quick tricks about the selection tool for those who are using Paint Tool Sci version 2. Um, so we have three of them right here on the left. I'll tell you about the first one real quick. Enclosed transparent area. I feel this one is really good for people who have like really nice line work for the most part. This one will grab everything outside of what your line work or inside of what your line work is. So for example, it will grab everything around it like that. The range of transparency will actually grab more and more of the pixels. So for example, mine's at eight right now and it will grab my line work perfectly fine. As you see, if I put it up, it'll grab more of the inside of the pixels. It's going to try to see what part of the lines it can ignore. So you'll have to play around the range for that for your specific line work because it will just make it work better. But mine usually is about six and eight and I usually have no problem selecting around my lines and it's pretty easy with no problem. See? All right. Next. I have similar color area and that one I want to show you with a stocked rose I found. Okay, so on this one, it will literally, this has no transparent background. It will grab all the white area without an issue like Photoshop does. And I will prove that to you in a hot second. Let's give another, so I copied it. And give this some background so you guys can see. And here's the rose. I see. That's really helpful for those people who like to use stock, use stock images. And I believe the same goes the range of color for this one as well. It will get closer to the pixels for it. So probably less of a white outline. Let's see. Let's grab that. Yeah, it's going to grab a little bit of that green because it's trying to figure out how much it's supposed to grab. Let's go 80. Okay. Invert. Copy that. Let's do the next one here. Yeah, so that one has now less white around it than that other one. See? It has a bit of an edge, but this one does not have a bit of an edge, so you just have to play again with the range. It does make a big difference. And then you have the all similar color pixels. And for those who don't know what that is, it will li literally can't talk today. I'll close these ones. It would literally grab the color you pick. So I'm going to Go ahead and pick all these pinks and reds just to get the top. You'll probably have to do a little bit of cleanup because I think I have my range too high. But just to get the top of the petals. Alright, so there's that. Let's just clean up some of the green so you guys can get an example of what you can do with this. Alright, so there's this one. And then let's go back. So that one's at 30 for that. Let's put it up a bit to grab some more. That's about 84. Yeah, see, it grabs some of the green. So it really depends on how much range you want for the certain colors. But yeah, that one specifically grabs the color. Let's do the opposite. Let's just go back to about 26. Grab all this green. You'll do have to do cleanup for the red since it does bounce off of the petals. And go back here. And do some cleanup very quick. And voila. 
Oh, you got them separate. Ta-da! So that's what the selection tools on Paint Tool Side 2 does. I hope that it helps you guys out.